All right, so 10 minutes stretch. Um, we are going to start off with a little bit of movement to warm us up. So right foot forward, left foot back. Reach the arms up, push up off the back toes, get really long through your spine, and then send your hips back and lift the front toes. So hopefully by now we all know how we're going to start this, but then I always mix it up after. So let's do, oh, one more on this side. Maybe hold this time a little longer as you reach up. Really lift your heart and then send the hips back. Okay, let's switch up the feet. Reach up, row long. Send the hips back, lift the front toes. Let's do oh, three more on this side. Usually I try and keep it even on each side, but sometimes talking and counting together doesn't always work. Let's do last one on this side. And back. All right, so go ahead and bring feet, narrow hip width apart. We're gonna do more arm swings and reaches, but as you sit back, push your hands back and then swing up onto your toes. A little balance there. Let's do a few more like that. So we're gonna speed it up. The goal is to get high up on your toes and then kind of lock in your core and all your muscles for stability. I would advise not looking up on this one. That'll really throw your balance off. Okay, one more right here. All right, we're gonna take arms out to the side, palms up, and then step the left foot out to the side with your toes facing out. We do a bicep curl as the knee bends. So we're gonna do a few like that, and then we'll turn it into a stretch. Try not to push your knee too far over the toes. So if your knee's going really far, and if you move your foot wider, it won't go as far. Okay, now left hand goes to the knee and right arm reaches up, and let's lift back up. So we're doing kind of a windmill here. More dynamic stretching. Okay, we're gonna hold this one, so bend the knee, plant the hand, and reach really long through your whole side. And now try and straighten the left leg. All right, let's bring it up, and we're gonna switch feet. So left toes go forward, right toes go out to the side. Arms up, palms up, and then we've got the knee bend and the bicep curl. And again, if you find your knee pushing too far over your toes, just make your stance wider. You might be feeling your uh, shoulders and your biceps at this point. Let's do two more. Okay, reach down, up and over, and then lift. Our little windmill stretch. This time we're gonna hold the hand down, reach longer, bend the knee, and then really reach over, open your chest up, pull your shoulder blade down. In yoga, this is the side angle pose. And then try and straighten the leg. And then come back up. All right, back to the center. And let's do some more hip movements. So feet just a little bit wider and let's do our hula hoops. That always just feels good on the hips and low back. And go the other way. Back to the center, arms up. So elbows are gonna stay bent here. We're gonna step right and reach left. More side stretching, just a little bit more. And then we'll move into some rotation. Okay, go the other way. Step and reach. Release arms, take feet really wide now. This is one we do a lot too, and move side to side. Waking up the inner thighs. OK, 
Okay, come to the center. We're gonna do some windmills again, arms up. Turn one hand towards the floor, come back up and switch sides. Now as you do these, you're, you'll probably have a tendency to lock your knees out. So slightly bend your knees a little bit, which will help you not round through your lower back when you bend your knees. Just don't lock your knees, whatever we do. <laughs> Last one on each side. And come back up. All right, feet together. And let's take a step back with the left leg. So as you step back, look up and reach up. Now switch legs. Step and reach. So this one's kind of similar to the first one we did, except we're stepping and lunging. So it adds even more arching in your back. And if you find any discomfort when you do that in your low back, squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone. That will help stabilize your pelvis. Last one. Okay, let's take feet together. Uh, narrow hip width apart. We're gonna do hands on your hips and do heel lifts. So your knees come forward as your heels lift. So you know how we started off with those arm swings and reaches? We're coming back into it for a little more stabilization. Now see if you can get your spine really long and engage your core. And that will help ground you Create more balance and stability. Okay, lift the heels, hold there. We're gonna bring arms up and left foot goes steps forward. Then we come back to the center and then back, back to the center. Stay high on your toes. We're gonna do all one side and then all the other. And we will stretch the calves after we do this because it's a lot of calf work. Last one. And back. Now if you can, keep your heels up. If you need a rest, you can put them down. And now we're gonna do the other side. Forward, center, back, center. But keep your core really tight. Let's do one more. Okay, now drop the heels. Okay, let's stretch the calves out a little bit. So take um, left foot forward, right foot back, and then push the back heel down. And now we're gonna get the front calf too at the same time by pushing the front knee forward, but keeping both heels down. Straighten the front leg, and then bend again. Now if you're not getting much stretch, then you would widen your stance a little bit. So push the front knee forward, push the back heel down, Keep your core engaged and your spine tall. Straighten the front leg. And now reach your chest forward in order to get the hamstring. Okay, let's switch legs. And push the back heel back and down. And push the front knee forward. You'll probably get more stretch in the back leg. That is totally normal. Now let's straighten. And bend again, push the front knee forward, push the back heel down. Tall spine, keep your core engaged and maybe even tuck your tailbone a little bit so you're not arching too much in the low back. And let's come back up. Come back to the center, wide legs. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your knees, push your hips back and sweep. Let's do a few more like that. Okay, release your hands and take ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And then head back to the center and turn. Chin over shoulder, chin over shoulder. And then head back to center and shoulder rolls. All right, thanks you guys. Thanks for joining today. And